Hi, um, this is just a really, really basic tutorial, real quick tutorial on how to do an introduction for a game. So this was requested by a friend, so I was going to start with something a little more complex, but this will be just fine for the very first tutorial. So hopefully you follow them all the way through, and if this one's way too easy for you, then just skip a few or so. But anyway, this is basically on how to use switches, but this beginning one won't use any switches except for one control self switch. So let's uh, let's begin. And if you don't know how to map, then I hope you will watch a couple more tutorials or just follow along, and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it just by watching what I do. So right, right in the beginning, I'm going to start a new map. I have to move a little bit slower because it records really fast, and I have no idea why. call it intro and I just like to make it s as small as you can get it because it's just easier and you can change the background music or the background sound I'm not going to for this one there we go now on this map you want absolutely nothing on it if you're going to use a heads up display from a script or something that'll show at the bottom of the screen down here or wherever it's gonna show at then what you want to do is import a black picture or whatever color picture you want for the background for the introduction for your game. I usually just use black, it's just simpler like that. But you know, if you're gonna make a really advanced game, you probably want a cool picture or something like that for the beginning, not just a black screen. But anyway, um, the reason for the black picture is to cover up that heads up display or your health or whatever else you have up there. Because uh, unless you know how to turn the scripts on and off, usually it just stays on most of the time. So a picture will cover it up so you can't see the heads up. Anyway. I obviously don't have any scripts in right now and I'm not going to teach you anything about scripts because I don't know much. So I'm going to start out here and uh, what you want to do is make a new event just up in the corner somewhere, it doesn't really matter. And you don't want a graphic on this event, but you do want to change the trigger down here to from action button to parallel process. And what that's going to do is make the event run as soon as the map is reached, so as soon as the game starts. Then you click on invent over here so you can add, add a couple commands. And what I like to do is just do a wait under your timing on the second tab here. Just kind of so it doesn't just start so suddenly. And 60, sec 60 frames is a little long, so I'll just do 35 just as a random number. And all that's going to do is just, you know, so it doesn't jump right into the text. It'll just give you a second to collect yourself. Next, I'm going to add some text. Oh, you know what? Cancel that. Next, I'm going to add under tab under the second tab here, set move root. It's under movement. And what you're going to do is make sure this is on player, not this event, but on player. And then you want to change opacity to zero. What that's going to do is make it so you cannot see your character there, because you don't want your character standing in the middle while you're trying to do the prologue. And all this should be okay, exactly how it is. And underneath you change opacity, then you want to add your prologue. So if you wanted to do this whole long epic story about how well anything then you put that here I'm just going to write welcome to the tutorial wow I can't talk and type at the same time or it comes out strange apparently change this to transparent and put it in the middle just because I like it like that I don't want a face graphic on this one but you could do a face graphic if you wanted to alright next uh, what I'm going to do is transfer player to the first map. And I'm going to remap this eventually, probably in the next tutorial, so I hate the ocean and the whole huge map isn't going to work. But anyway, just pick a place to send him to. You'll probably have a map ready by the time you get to this step. Anyway, and what that's going to do is just send you to the next map. Okay. Now on this map, uh, what I'm going to do is just over here in the corner, if I can get to the corner, make a new event, set this one to parallel process also, and uh, on number two, set move root, change opacity, change it back to 255, make sure it's on player, that should work, and what that's going to do is make it so you can see your character again. Now what you could do obviously is make events and make a, you know, a cutscene in the int introduction or what whatever else you wanted, but I'm just going to make it so you jump right into the game. So, turn that on. And then uh, what I do here, make a new event page and uh, set the condition to self switch A. 
that makes it so if self switch A is on and self switches only control this event just so everyone knows they do not have anything to do with anything else just this one event that I'm dealing with so go back to page one and uh, on the first tab control self switch make sure A is on and that what that's going to do is after it changes you back to visible back to the opacity 255 then it's going to turn self switch A on which will take you to the next page make sure the triggers on action button so the only way you can activate everything that's in this list of event commands is by you know pressing the action button over this tile over here but it doesn't matter because there's nothing here anyway so there's it's it's not going to do anything for you it's just so you don't keep turning yourself visible and not that that would hurt but it's probably going to slow down your game quite a bit if it keeps looping the same command over and over again and that should do it maybe I'll throw a little grass in here just so you can actually walk around when you get there and uh, make sure you set your I should have told you this in the beginning set your starting position on the introductory map because if you don't then uh, it'll just start you on the other map and you'll skip the introduction alright I'm going to test play this Alright, that worked, but hopefully you guys saw everything I did wrong. I made a wait, and then it changed an invisible. What I want to do is cut that and paste it above the wait, so you don't wait 35 frames before your character disappears. That was kind of dumb on my part. Sorry, sorry. And now I'm going to turn down the volume because I was really loud, and then test it again. Ta-da! Absolutely flawless. There you go. See up here is where your other event is, but nothing will happen, so you have nothing to worry about. And that's a really basic, basic tutorial of an introduction for a, a game. And you can obviously add on to that and make it a lot more complex if you want, but I'm going to leave you there and I'll start my next tutorial for a quest or something simple like that. Maybe I'll even do a little mapping for everybody who doesn't know how to do that yet. But anyway, thanks for watching.